a massive community effort is underway to find a missing five year old boy in Fruitland. Michael Vaughn disappeared Tuesday night near Southwest 9th Street and South Arizona Avenue in Fruitland. He has blonde hair, blue eyes, and is about three foot seven. Last seen wearing a blue t-shirt and dark blue briefs. Today, community members joined in on the search and they spent the day searching from the air and the ground. Michael, who also goes by like Monkey, was, was reported missing Tuesday night in Fruitland. While law, law enforcement continue to search for clues as to where he might be, support around the Treasure Valley is pouring into the community. Teams of people searching the town for hours today, all hoping to find Michael. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is J.D. Huff, and I'm the Chief of Police for the City of Fruitland, and I just want to start out by saying thank you uh, for attending today. Um, you know, this, is, uh, this, this, this thing is monumental, and um, it, it's super important that we have you guys here helping us out, uh, getting some words out here today. So um, I want to start this off by introducing some of my counterparts here, some of my partners that are helping me with this. Um, I'll start out with Special Agent Brian Sullivan with the F Federal Bureau of Investigation, um, Captain Matt Sly uh, with the Idaho State Police. I've got Chief John Plaza with the Payette Police Department, uh, Brian Marinelli uh, with the Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue Team, uh, and I've got the family of Michael uh, Joseph Vaughn here, uh, Brandy and Tyler and, and, and Brandy's sister uh, here today with us. So I'm going to read my, my press release to you and then I'll um, stand by for a few questions for you uh, once we complete this, okay? Um, today the Fruitland Police Department in conjunction with the State Police, multiple Treasure Valley law enforcement agencies and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, we continue to search for missing and endangered five-year-old Michael Joseph Vaughn, MJ to his family and friends. Michael was last seen near his residence on Southwest 9th Street in Fruitland at approximately 6.30 p.m. on July 27th, uh, 2021. Operations to date include the methodical search of the area near Michael's residence, which included two irrigation runoff ditches, which were drained by the Fruitland Public Works Department in an extensive uh, search and rescue effort, including the use of canines, aerial, and marine and land support. Idaho Fish and Game officers are continuing to search the river by boat for four to five miles down river and back up and in the sloughs of the Snake River as well. The Fruitland Police Department will continue to organize search and rescue operations with resources provided by the Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue Team, the Fruitland Fire Department, and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and others. We've received a tremendous amount of support from the Fruitland community and we'll continue to call upon them, but as needed. We're continuing to seek the public's assistance to identify individuals who are in the area of Southwest 8th, Southwest 9th and Cornwall Way in Fruitland from 6.30 and 7.15 p.m. on Tuesday, July 27, 2021. If you were in that area or you know someone who was, please contact us at 208-642 6006 extension zero. That's the Payette County Sheriff's Office. And again, a tip line. Even if you don't believe that you have something that's relevant or relevant information to this case, we want you to contact us so we can recreate a complete picture of the time that Michael was last seen. Every minute counts in these investigations when searching for a missing child. And we appreciate the public's support and cooperation as we continue the search for Michael. If you live in the immediate area, please thoroughly search your property to include any outbuildings, vehicles, anything that a five-year-old kid could get into. Uh, we also ask that you review any security camera footage that you may have that may be attached to your house. Uh, video is extremely important to us in these, in these circumstances and these investigations. We're also very grateful for the public's assistance in following up on each lead 
we are following up, vigorously following up on each lead that we're getting in. So I want to make it clear that as your tips are coming in, they're not falling on deaf ears. The community knows because they see us out here every single day, pounding the pavement, pounding these rural areas. We are, we are working. We're committed to finding Michael and we're not going to leave any stones unturned. So you need to understand that the investigation of this child is a, we're using every resource and it's very intense. We ask that the community only report information from credible sources to law enforcement. And as we know, that as we're just, um, we know that if we're just coming up with speculation, it causes rumors and we'd like to have factual information. So please help us out that way so we can chase down factual leads. We also want to emphasize that Michael's family continues to be 100% cooperative with our investigation, and we're asking you to be extremely respectful of their privacy during this situation, um, and we would appreciate that. Super difficult time, as you would know. So Michael was last seen wearing a light blue Minecraft t-shirt over here on my left, uh, dark blue blocks or briefs, a child size 11 sandal, um, and he stands three foot seven inches tall. He's 50. 50 pounds, he's got blonde hair, blue eyes, and he answers to the nickname Monkey. If you see Michael, have any information that would lead us uh, to his whereabouts or his location, please call the Payette County Sheriff's Office at 208-642-6006, extension zero. So we just wanna extend our appreciation to our community. We, we thank you for your continued support and the media. And uh, with that, I'll stand for a few questions. Okay, thank you. That's a great question. Uh, and we've been getting that quite a bit. I would tell you that um, where we certainly appreciate the public's wanting to help us, um, you know, we've evaluated that several times and, and, and it can become a little problematic for us. So what we're asking the public to do at this point is to search their residences and their homes. Um, you never know, we got a five-year-old kid out there. Um, you know, he can wander in and out of places super easy into people's backyards. Um, any place that he could be on a larger piece of property, that's what we're asking the public to do. We have trained professional search teams with search canines that are certified, and we're in these areas that we, that we have been for the last uh, three days now. Um, so we're asking for the public to stay out of those areas and let us search those with these certified search teams. They're professionals, they know what they're looking for. A lot of times when we recruit civilian help, they miss things. And so where we have such an intense and such an important goal to accomplish, we don't want to miss a thing. We need to cover those, those pieces of ground inch by inch with trained searchers who know what they're looking for. And they have canines that, that accompany them that are trained and certified as well. So we're just asking the, the, the public to help us out that way. Let us work through this with trained professionals. At the end of this, if we still find nothing, we may recruit the public's help in another mass area search um, down the road. But that'll be down the road and that is an as needed event. Okay, thank you. Uh, Corey. What, I'm sorry, what credible leads have you gotten so far since the last time? Corey, um, thank you for the question, but I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna opine or, or, or weigh in on the, on, the, on the ongoing investigation into this thing, I just can't do it. Um, so I appreciate that. Our focus and our main focus is finding MJ and, um, and bringing him back to his family. And that's where we're at right now. Search and rescue operations, and we're going to continue doing that. So thank you. And you mentioned uh, canine teams coming in. Uh, were some canines brought in from out of state as well? Uh, well, yes. Yes, they were. We've got canines. We've had at least 10 specific canine teams from at least three different agencies. Sorry, could you step up to the podium for yeah. just a second? Sorry. We've had at least 10 separate canine teams from three different organizations that span from coast to coast. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, can you touch on more about what these outside agencies are able to bring to the state? Oh my gosh, thank you for the question. These outside agencies, 
bring everything to the case that I can't. Manpower, resources, um, equipment, um, um, I mean, everything. I mean, the city of Fruitland, we're a small city. Um, you know, uh, we've got 12 officers out here beating the street every day. So bringing these experienced, qualified people uh, into these investigations for us is, it, it, it's, it's just completely incredible and it's huge for us. The city of Fruitland Police Department, can continue, we can continue to support our community and handle those calls for service that we need to while adding support to this team here as we continue this investigation. Um, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I don't understand your question. So any any other equipment? So, so we do have um, drones that have been brought in from the Meridian Police Department. Uh, we have an I, uh, Idaho State Police drone, as well as a Payette County drone and a Sand Sand Hollow Fire drone. All of which um, are pretty sophisticated, and they have FLIR capabilities. And we are continuing to use those as we search. FLIR is a forward-looking infrared thermal imaging device. And so we, we put that up there. We like to primarily do that um, in, in areas where uh, it's a little bit cooler, so maybe in the morning or late at night, where we can get a little better uh, signature or heat signature on those devices. And um, so we're continuing to do that. It's, it's a great resource. So. And is there anything you can release about, was there any indication of a direction of travel or, or, or a direction that, that Mike might have gone or anything of that nature? You know, I, I will tell you that he was last seen there on Southwest 9th. We're, we're still trying to pin down some direction to travel, but I, I don't have that. You know, our, our, our goal is to find him, and we're going to continue hunting. And I will tell you that everything is on the table on this, okay? So uh, we're going to continue our search and rescue efforts, and I, you know, I appreciate you guys. I, I thank you for being out here today. Um, and having said that, um, would the family like to speak to this at all? <coughs> Not? I just want to thank the community and all the enforcement agencies that have been continuously tirelessly looking for him and anybody that has any information please contact the Fruitland PD um, we just want our monkey home we just miss our baby and we want him home anything helps anything okay. thank you guys all right with that um, we'll conclude I thank you for coming